my Western force. He has a trophy hunter which gives him plus 10% to the chance of discovering hidden agents and armies. That's good. We're going to give him... What's he got? He's got authority plus four already, so I think we'll go for plus one for cunning, and we will go for ooh, armor for all units and ammunition. That could be very yeah. We'll go for that. That'll be useful. Twenty-seven-year-old Ptolemy. He's taken Paratonion. He will stay here and replenish for a couple of turns. He will then recruit some more slingers. My ship can disembark here as well for now. We will then take Ammonian and then Serene. Take all of Libya with that army. Right. Down here we are biding our time. We will be... Actually, we will be changing the name of this army. The Sons of Zeus. Um, we'll try it for something different. We'll go with something like... Oops, wrong button. How about the Southern Sons? How about that? Because they will be going south. <laughs> and then this army in Jerusalem will be called uh, the defenders of the oh it doesn't work not enough letters we'll go with beasts of the east in that case <laughs> beast of the east so there we go we've got a western force an eastern force and a southern force i will be well let's see I can have six armies, but I think three is more than enough for now. One army can easily take all of these down here. I don't think they're allied with anybody at the start of a campaign. Nope, they're not. Axum are actually at war with Mero. So they'll be very easy to take. So, we will continue now with by clicking the end turn button. Oops, may issue an edict. Alexandria. Egyptus, oops, we will go for some food and public order. Bread and games, end turn. And we have our first end turn in this campaign. And our ally has been attacked. The aggressor is the Seleucid Empire. They've attacked Cyprus. We will enter the war, of course, on our ally side. We are now at war with the Seleucid Empire. Diplomacy. Cyprus will offer us some money for some trade. That's excellent. I will accept, of course. I wouldn't actually mind playing as Cyprus in a future campaign. I like the fact that they're kind of on their own, I suppose. Near the Seduce Kid territory. Faction encountered Dragania and Media. Edict has been issued. Trouble populace in Libya, of course. We know that. We know that. It's not a problem. We will, we will take the rest of the settlement before long. I'm going to upgrade this to a village, I think. And we can go for... What to go for? Harbour? I'll leave it like that for now. It's important that I expand as much as I can at the start of this campaign. We can get some decent units, so I think I'm going to go for some Egyptian pikemen and some cavalry. And we will go for some slingers as well. Two of each, a small army. I th think it might be enough, actually, to take... Take this, Ptolemy Theron has six javelin tribesmen spearmen. Yeah, it might be enough. Let's we'll see how it goes. Army up here then in Jerusalem. Of course we're at war with these now. We're gonna be expecting them to attack me before long. So we're gonna go for some slingers and some Egyptian infantry just to bolster our force. Of course, in a turn's time we can get some pikemen and cavalry, so I might actually take off one of them. Just keep the slingers there. We can upgrade Memphis. Mm, upgrade Memphis. Can't actually build anything there though for now. I'll have to do that in the next turn. A few more turns and we can branch forward. I think we're going to take these guys out next. Can we get there this turn? No, it'll take two turns to get there. Ammonium. Can't tell how, how big the population is there. What the garrison is going to be. I'm going to end turn though. We'll see how we do in this end turn phase. Right, Nabatea, we're a non-aggression pact. I will be accepting this, but I want to see if I can get some money out of them first. 
Hey, you've got some money out of them. Excellent. Always good to try and bargain with them. If you can get any kind of money out of your faction, then that's always good. You can really exploit your Shogun too. Not so much in Rome too, but you can do it on certain occasions like then. I had plus 500 for nothing, basically. And now it is autumn time, I think. Diospolis. One more turn, then the southern suns could probably go forward and have some carnage for me. Jerusalem is this is going to be the main army to to barter them and to hurt them. We'll get some Egyptian pikemen here. Going to need them against the Seleucid Empire. And now I will expand towards Ammonium with this army, I think. Can we recruit anything decent? So we can get some elephants, so we will be doing that. Uh, let me see. Get the army to about there. Then we will begin the war elephants. Then we will put them into a fortified stance because they can't reach this turn. We can get them next turn. Can't see how much they got there as well. Peritonion, of course, is not very happy, but we will be building some stuff here in the near future. Memphis, we expanded last turn. We will be... What, we, what do we need? We haven't got a farm, have we? We haven't got a quarry could get wealth from that, I could get food, food could be useful and we get some wealth as well and I go with a homestead in that case in Memphis so we look at the Nile River down here towards the Ospolis one more turn and then we can go south with this army I think, the southern sands I will be taking Arabia as well once I get the chance, the plan basically is to go as far as Libya and take all of this to go south so we have Ethiopia, Egypt, Libya then we'll take Nabatea, but I might take them out last because we have a non-aggression pact. Go for the Arabia Felix and take all of that. Then Arabia Magna, so I have all of that as well. So a big massive chunk of land. Meanwhile, pushing back the Seleucid Empire. And then we'll see how the campaign goes from there. But I think I could probably end turn once more. Let's see. I've got some money to spend. What do I want to spend it on? It would probably be a good idea to recruit a agent, a champion preferably. Let's see, they all cost the same, they all have the same abilities. Go with him. Basically, next turn, my champion can then train up my unit such as in Jerusalem. And that will help us out tremendously. Because while we're sitting and waiting for the Seleucid Empire to attack us, we will have a better army which will be prepared to fight them. So I'll be clicking the end turn button once more. Oh, you don't currently have any technologies. You want to get some tech? What can we go for? Yeah, we'll go for training reforms. And we'll enter in. Of course, Egypt has that plus 10% research rate bonus. So you want to be using that as best and as wisely as you can. And the Seleucid didn't attack us this turn. Saranacia looks like they are, though. They've just run straight into our land. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be interesting. What do they want to do? Rebellion imminent in Libya. Mission issued. Defeat the foreign army. We will be defeating them. Do not worry about that. But first, I think we'll probably go and attack Ammonium. See, we can't reach them this turn, even though they're in force march, which is kind of irritating. I will need a secondary army here, though, because they will be attacking Paratonian. And Paratonian has a very, very weak garrison, which isn't even fully replenish yet so new general we will go with Dexikos raise an army we will give you royal peltasts you can sit there and we can try and recruit some Egyptian slingers for you that should be okay meanwhile this army is now going to have a second battle in this campaign we're going to try and take Ammonium out. Charge in there. Oh, we've stopped because we're in the zone. They have a, Oh, they only have a garrison of five. <laughs> this is going to be an easy battle, guys. Let's take them out. Don't think I needed the war elephants after. I could probably send just the war elephants in. I might actually do that. Okay, so I'll see you all on the battlefield. Men of Egypt, this is your king, Dragonheart. Today, we fight Cyrenatia again. They are a foe. That is a thorn. They are poisonous. They are serpentine. They are deadly. 
Are they a few in number? But I believe, believe me, I believe we can win this battle. We can claim another victory for the great Egyptian empire that is ours. Expand our land and defeat the infidel. Men of Egypt, rise and kill them all. Here we go, guys. We're going to send the war elephant straight in. We're going to try and take them on. March them forward and try and kill them all. I'm going to bring all the rest of my men forward as well. I haven't grouped them up this time. I'm just going to march march them straight in. I'm going to rush them. This is going to be a pretty, pretty easy battle. They have mob and Egyptian infantry. And they are depleted as well. I don't even need the rest of my army. I'm going to try and do this with this war elephant. If I lose my war elephant, then they're only mercenaries. So I don't lose anything. But I don't think I need the rest of my men. I'm just going to charge them with the war elephants. We're going to watch the war elephants wreak havoc upon the Sarinations. Hopefully win this battle for us as well. Here's the Egyptian infantry. Damn you! Damn you to hell! And damn you to Hades! I don't know what that guy's doing. <laughs> He's... I think he peed himself. Look out, you have war elephants on the way. And we will be trampling and stampeding any moment now. Oh, they do have some Egyptian infantry over there as well. Stampede! And kill them all! Go on, well, friends. Kill them all. Mob, mobs getting completely obliterated. <laughs> 57 out of 120 in one hit. Have a look at the kill ratio on the left-hand side. Oh, my God. 155. Let's watch that go. Well, elephants, Do your worst to them. Go on. Fling them all over the place. Go for the Egyptian infantry, actually. <laughs> I haven't lost a single elephant yet, and we've got 200 kills. Oh man, the rest of my men can just... I'm not going to bring the rest of my men in. Just let the war elephants do it all for me. <laughs> oh man, this is insane. 300 and... <laughs> oh guys, I'm going to... Just get this off, just get this off. Let's just watch. Just watch the carnage. Kill them all. <laughs> Kill them all. War elephants. Victory! <laughs> End battle, decisive victory. Didn't lose a single man. How the hell have the rest of my men got kills? That's not fair. They didn't. I didn't even use them. My war elephants got 378 kills. They easily killed everyone. Battle duration 205. Uh, two minutes, five seconds. Sorry. Senka Maniskin is dead. Saranesha lose another settlement. My battle speech seemed to work wonders in that battle. <laughs> And now, decisive victory we can occupy. Military traditions, Western Force, rank 2.